Well, good morning, children. Welcome to Sunday School. I'm so glad that you came to join me today. Today is a very special day for us. Today is Palm Sunday. Now, you remember uh, on Palm Sunday, we used to meet in front of the church and we'd get in line and we'd grab our palms and we'd raise them in the air and we'd swing them while the church sang the Hosanna song, the Hosanna hymn it was beautiful. We would do the processional into church. Some of you would go one side and the other, some of you would go to the other side and we would just wave our palms because today is the day that Jesus entered into Jerusalem and it is called Palm Sunday. It's an important Sunday, and even though we can't gather in Sunday school and we can't do the Palm Processional this year, um, you still need to know this: what happened to Jesus. Um, this is Holy Week, and lots of things happen during Jesus' um, final um, earthly life. And um, so we're going to start with Palm Sunday. So uh, I'm going to do a craft while I'm talking to you. And I hope that you will come by and pick up your craft so that you can hang it up to not only remind yourself of the, the story of Palm Sunday, but perhaps remind others of Palm Sunday and the importance of it. So while I tell you the story, I am going to do my craft and I'll show it to you when I'm finished. So... Remember how God sent his son Jesus to rescue us? Well, not everybody believed that Jesus was really God's son and rescuer. But the ones who did believe in him did something pretty cool. It started on just an ordinary day. For Jesus, he was heading into Jerusalem with his disciples. But before he got there, Jesus did something really surprising. He stopped and he sent two of his disciples to go into the city to get a donkey from a village nearby. He even told them exactly where the donkey would be tied up where the owner had left it. They weren't sure why Jesus needed that donkey, but they obeyed him. I wonder, if Jesus asked you to go and get a donkey, would you obey him, even though you didn't know why? Well, the disciples did obey Jesus. They knew that there was a reason why Jesus needed that donkey. So, when, the, when they got back with the donkey, they threw some of their coats on the back of the donkey to create a saddle for Jesus. And Jesus climbed up on the donkey. Pretty soon, the disciples saw why Jesus needed the donkey. You see, crowds of people came to the road and started laying coats and palms and tree branches on the road for Jesus to enter in. I have a picture that I thought I would show you of what it might have looked like. This is a beautiful portrait that um, one of my youth brought home from me when he went to Teze on their pilgrimage, Tese, France. He brought this back for me. And this is a vision of what Palm Sunday might have looked like. You see all the crowds of people waving their palms and people put down coats on the road so Jesus would enter in. They were very excited to see Jesus. So that's what it might have looked like. And when this happened, Many people recognized that Jesus was a king. Only kings come into the city like this. Jesus rode on a donkey 
unlike what a king might have rode on, a king might have ridden in on a horse, maybe. But no, Jesus rode in on a donkey, and people were yelling, Peace on earth! Glory in the highest! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! They were so excited to see Jesus. They had heard all of the things that Jesus had done. But remember how some people, they didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God? They told Jesus to make everybody stop yelling. They didn't think that Jesus deserved to be treated like a king. Well, do you know what Jesus said? He told them, if they keep quiet, the rocks will cry out on the road. Well, the people who didn't believe in Jesus didn't want the rocks to be praising him, and they certainly didn't want the people praising him. And Jesus was very sad about that. In fact, he actually cried. He wept. Well, you see, these people, they had been waiting and wanting a Savior to come for all their lives. And here they were among Jesus, and they were missing it. They didn't believe. But you know what? Even though Jesus cried, Palm Sunday isn't a sad story. Easter is all about Jesus' amazing rescue. And Palm Sunday reminds us of just how special Jesus is and how much Jesus loved everyone, how much Jesus loves us. That's the story of Palm Sunday. Jesus knew why he was entering into Jerusalem. And what he was about to face was not good, but it was necessary for he was sent to help save us. And he loved us so much that he was willing to do that. People just didn't understand. Not all people did. Some people did. So, this is what I drew. And I'm hoping that you will come to the church and pick up some supplies so that you can create your own sign, your own plaque, your own piece of art that, we, that will remind you of Palm Sunday and how much Jesus loved us and um, help you to remember what Holy Week is about. And we're just starting it this morning with Palm Sunday. So this is the picture that I drew of Palm Sunday. And I'm sure you'll do a much better job than I did. Inside the children's bin are lots of pictures that you might want to color to remember Palm Sunday. This is a picture of a young person waving their palm in the air as Jesus rode by on a donkey. This might have been what it would look like if you were there. So, come by the church and pick up your craft. This is a piece of heavy cardboard that I have painted and it has actually a string on the back so you'll be able to hang it up to remind you and others of Palm Sunday. Now, between now and Easter, I will be getting another craft ready for you, similar to this one. Um, and this one that will be there after Palm Sunday, probably by Wednesday, I'll have it for you so that you can create it and hang it in your house to, um, to celebrate the joy that Easter brings. I'll show you what mine looks like. I'm sure yours is going to look really good. This is, um, this is the He is Risen portrait. This tells the story of um, Jesus' crucifixion and when he was laid in the tomb and the tomb was found empty because Jesus had risen. 
and on Easter, we can have that joy knowing that Jesus has risen. So I'll have this and some others that you could choose from that you might want to put on a plaque. And again, it has a string on the back, so you can hang it along with your um, Palm Sunday portrait. Okay? So come by the children's bin, pick up your craft supplies, and make one of these plaques. And while you're doing it, it would be really nice if you were just be, to be still and think about what this um, book Palm Sunday is and what um, Easter is all about. And during the week, I'll come on um, YouTube and I'll do another Bible lesson of some of the things that happened to Jesus during Holy Week so that we all can be joyful on Easter morning and say, Jesus has risen. He has risen indeed. So until I see you again, um, please come by and pick up your supplies. Have fun doing this. And remember to be kind to everyone. Do all the things you need to do in order to stay safe for yourself and for others. So may the peace of God be with each and every one of you. And I will see you again in just a couple of days when I will read to you the rest of the story that happened during Holy Week. So until I see you, take care and have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye-bye.